Hey, uh, I'm Ray from uh, Autoglass.com. Uh, I'm a fortunate individual that I get to touch a BMW. What kind of car is this, Ralph? 535. The 535. Now, the 535 has electrochromatic mirrors. If you, Ralph, you want to take a little closer shot to this uh, mirror here. Uh, they're both electrochromatic, but, you know, his wife hit a garbage can, and he's very upset by it. So, uh, as I showed on other films on how to glue, the most important thing is there's a liquid inside of this mirror, and as you see, that liquid is like, it's not really oozing out, so I don't have a problem with uh, adhesion. But what we want to do is make it so that the mirror uh, will still function as far as uh, heat. Uh, you have a heating element behind the mirror. So the way I'm going to show you how to glue these mirrors, it's a uh, non-latex-based silicone. It's uh, really what was used back in the day when they used to use silicone to install windshields. That used to rot the pinch welds because the uh, silicone was, you know, a mess. Now, what we do with these, with these self-dimming mirrors when we glue them, uh, we want to go quarter inch by quarter inch dots. And I'm going to show you this. We're going to get a little close here. And we're going to go quarter inch by quarter inch and get a little crazy. But what I'm doing here is I'm creating a, I'm creating a surface that when I put the mirror in, being that it is a convex mirror, which is uh, what they call a 30 inch radius curve, which is all uh, car mirrors, except for this one possibly, it was made in China. The difference is, is mine's 2.2 millimeter thick glass. This is 1.8. But um, it did matter because they, the liquid dimmed the mirror. So it didn't matter what the product was. But I'm mainly concerned that Ralph, uh, in the beautiful winter we're about to have, is the heating element when it functions, when he turns it on with his defogger, and or his uh, back glass is what activates the heating element. Uh, which is, like I say, it is a non-latex base. Latex is, a, is more for plastic. Like if you want to do bathroom caulking, you, you know, you, you, you want to do the caulking for your, for your bathtub. Um, the latex is a rubber-based silicone. You don't want to use that because it will not bond to glass. You don't want to use Gorilla Glue. You don't want to use a product uh, that is uh, stuff that will not eat into a non-porous substance. Silicate is non-porous, so uh, Gorilla Glue doesn't work because that's how it works. It eats into a porous surface. But the non-latex silicone, it's also known as construction silicone. So if you don't have it um, and you didn't order it and you say, oh, God, I need it now, go to Lowe's. They have a, a GE silicone in little uh, three-ounce tubes on the display. So it's really a one, two, three thing. Now, what we do here at autoglass.com is um, it's a little thin. I bevel the edge. We bevel the edge because hey, we're dealing with a million dollar car here, this BMW. So when I put this mirror over there, it's giving it a finished look. So this way, before he turns the car in or whatever. So then we take the mirror and we're going to basically just put it right in and that's it. Now the one thing I don't have on me and I'm going to have to run in, the ha run in and grab it is some tape. So that this way when, if you, you can, it'll cure within four hours. This, uh, this glue will cure in four hours. But in between the four hour time period, you want to tape it down. So that this way, you know, you're driving now back uh, home and, uh, you know, but I mean, how does it look? It's great. I mean, right. uh, it's 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 the most the, the most economical way. Um, one thing that is a major situation when you have electrochromatic mirrors, you notice that this rim around the frame, there is a wire in there, and that is what activated the liquid as an electrochromatic polarization. Um, they fail after about ten years, and then they start to turn black. Um, if you were to carve this out and try to scrape the old glass out, you just destroyed a $500 mirror. Because BMW does not sell just the glass. BMW will sell you the housing. This housing goes, uh, and this is uh, a manual or is it a power? Power. So it, it folds in, 
power wise you're looking at a seven hundred dollar house it is black however it is painted to the car so that you would get you would get what they call primer gray and then you'd have to bring it to a body shop get it painted the same color as this now if it was a red car this housing would be red so this is a very inexpensive uh, way to do things but I have the other YouTubes that show it uh, based you know where I've had it on a table and I've shown that kind of situation so there's another there's another video on how to repair a BMW electrochromatic self dimming mirror that does uh, darken the 65 percent of translucent light um, our mirrors absorb 40 percent because we use first surface US made uh, chromium uh, and chromium is a translucent uh, metal so in its first surface which means it's on the uh, it's on the outside of the glass on the inside is regular silicate it's like regular plate glass so the outside and people say hey you know if the, if I've seen it on a net where my competition will make a comment that, oh, it's uh, the first surface chromium will start to flake and destroy. Uh, I, hate to, I hate to bust this bubble, but when um, the 1957 Chevy Bel Airs had chrome bumpers and they started to rust and bubble, it wasn't due to the chromium, it was due to the steel rotting. But I'd like to thank Ralph for coming over and letting me do this, and uh, again, Go down to the bottom links where I can get you to the BMW page and uh, and uh, get you all ready. Uh, it's Ray from the internet, uh, autoglass.com, and you guys have a nice day.